there guys, gals, non-binary pals, Jim Potter here, and I've got a little bit of something different. I've got an unboxing for Owl Crate. Um, I haven't opened this yet, I just cut the tape, so let's get into it. I did purchase, I want to say I did purchase this with my own money. This is, I believe, the July box from last year. I just purchased the standalone. Um, first thing off the, off the bat, um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I used to get a different book club that also came with um, Ephemera, and it was a much larger box than this one. Maybe it's because this one's young adult. I'm not sure, but let's get into it and see. Okay, they have Guide to Unboxing, if you give two hoots, hoot, hoot, hoot. And it says, snap, photograph, and film your unboxing experience. Share off your treats with the Owl Crate community, and snuggle up and get cozy and enjoy your new book. So we have the card here that's got all the spoilers on the back for what's in it. Um, it's kind of cute looking. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of crinkle paper. Let's see. So the first thing we have is something from the Owl Crate Apothecary. Um, it says Bibliophile Brew, designed with love. All right, let's see what we got. Oop, it's got bubble wrap, which I just popped. Cures Reader's Block. Take one when experiencing literary uh, indecisiveness. And then on this side it says, let Owl Crate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. So let's see. Oh, it's just a canister. And it's got a little owl on the bottom there. So this is really cute. I like this. I could put tea in it or I can... What I've been wanting to do, actually, is to take... Um, go through my to, read, to be read shelves and write down all the books that I'm wanting to read so when I'm not sure what to read I just pull out a slip of paper and that's what I'm reading next so I might do that with this so that is really cute I'm going to put it back in the box here but lots of crinkles okay and then we have fictional bath company vial of dreams high kiss bubble elixir water, water mint and clementine Okay, so this is a bubble bath, which um, I remarked in a previous video how I had the gastric sleeve, and my goal is to be able to fit into my bathtub so I can take nice bath baths with bubble baths or with salts or with bath bombs and things, um, because our, we have an older house, and the, <laughs> the bathtubs are very small. So I, my hips didn't fit in there comfortably. So I'm wondering if I've lost enough weight. If I have, I will try this out tonight. And we will see. And then next we have a little keychain. Looks like it's a hand sanitizer. Oh, let's, it's empty. Okay. So you fill it up with whatever you're wanting on here. And you can actually take it out. And it's got a little potion bottle on there. That's really cute. I might fill that up with some hand sanitizer and put it on my purse. Okay, and then we have frozen delicacies. I don't know, it's 104 right now here in Garland, so I don't know what frozen delicacies we would be having. This is, oh, it's a popsicle holder. So you put your popsicle in here, and that way your fingers don't get all numb and uncomfortable. That's kind of clever. Okay. Next we have something with different uh, plants on it, which could be kind of cool. Let's see. Open this up. It's a little stuck together. But. garden and it's got different poisonous poisonous plants on there that's really cool I love poisonous plants <laughs> for purely academic reasons of course and there's a little pin next okay so it's got a little heart in a jar with some cross keys which is very interesting kind of cute I'll probably put that on there 
I've got pins on my back wall there that I like to put up. And then, ooh, this is a bookmark. It says, eat me and drink me. Let's see if we can focus a little better. No. Uh, and it's got a chain that runs through the book, and then this dangles off either end, which is really cute. Oh, and we are finally down to the book. Let's see what we've got. Oh, and there's more papers. Okay. So this is an advertisement for another book. That's not the one I got. Um, the book I got is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, which, dearest reader, I am beyond excited to welcome you to the world of This Poison Heart. This story is full of so many of the things I find weird and wonderful. It's my ode to the magic that lives inside all of us and how the only way to truly embrace it is to let it take root and bloom. And it, it keeps going from there. But that's really cute. I like that. And it's wrapped. Oh, it's signed. I didn't I didn't see that. It's signed, which is I love signed books. It's like owning something. It's it's something special to me. And I love a good signed book. Um so okay, there's a little magazine. So it shows the difference between the two covers. This is the owl crate edition that I have, and then this is the regular. I kind of like the owl crate edition better. And it's got some book recommendations from last year and things like that. And it's kind of cute little magazine. And then we have... Okay, so this is a spoiler for the August 2021 boxes, which I, I just bought a past box, so I'm not going to be getting that. Oh, and it's so cute. You get the printouts out. But inside it says, enjoy your adventure. So that is really cute. Jam-packed, uh, more than I was expecting it to be, given the size of the box, but still very, very happy making. And it is a hardback, which I love a good hardback. Uh, paperbacks, I feel better about just sticking in my purse, but hardbacks, I think, look better on the shelf. You can see behind me here, behind my paintbrushes, I've got a bunch of books. They're all uh, paperbacks. Okay, so this one, I thought it might be, I'll probably actually hang it up as a tapestry, but this is a tea towel. Much too pretty to use. I do love tea towels. I think I've still got my pride tea towels up that I bought from the fabric store last year. But uh, I look forward to reading this. This looks good. The po This Poison Heart. And I, I must say, a good cover does me in. And this is a good cover. So, um, is have you tried Owl Crate before? What did you think? Have you tried any other bookish subscription boxes? Um, I love subscription boxes. I have done makeup and styling and kind of more lifestyle ones in the past. Um, but I'm excited to do book ones. I think this might be one that I subscribe to because everything in the box um, is, it, it's not just clutter, or at least it feels that way to me. It's stuff that I could actually get some use out of or pass along to people that I could, that could get some use out of it. So let me know. Um, have you read This Poison Heart? What did you think of it? Is that uh, something you'd like to see me review on the channel? Again, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!